are they painful and sticky as they show up or are you able to notice them as thoughts and like kind of get perspective before they cause you a lot of distress and suffering? Um, sometimes I would say both is, has been happening. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I was proud of myself this morning. Um, when I was alone, I had a good cry about it. I, I really like thought did an exposure and thought about all the thoughts and had a good cry. And that felt a lot better. And it, it felt like it took a lot of the power away from the thoughts. What do you, yeah. What do you think took the power away? That's a great way of saying it. Um, well, I don't know. I was trying to kind of figure that out. Um, I guess just accepting that these are the feelings that I'm having and not trying to push them away and, and also kind of like being compassionate towards myself and not thinking it's ridiculous because sometimes I'm like, why am I so sad? This isn't even a real thing. I'm just like imagining it all. But rather than doing that, just accepting it and saying like, it's okay. I do feel really sad. Like I have the feeling that I'm like losing my husband, even though I'm not. And I'm just going to let myself have that feeling and not judge myself for it. Yeah, that's really the opposite of emotional perfectionism. Mm -hmm. Um, So you're doing really good work there. Is there anything else you want to say about that? Um, Like, and how you've gotten to be able to like notice and challenge your emotional perfectionism? Um, I think I covered everything. Yeah, I can't think of anything else.